today we are going to find out the height of a building or school building using a clinometer uh, that is application of trigonometry so previous knowledge must be knowledge of clinometer properties of right angle triangle because application of trigonometry is there and a line of sight and angle of elevation as well as angle of depression now things required will be clinometer a measuring tape a geometry box and a graph paper now procedure so first we have to measure the height of a school building place the clinometer on the ground at a suitable place and look from the hollow pipe of the clinometer at the top of the uh, building rotate the protector so that the top of the building is visible so that will be angle of elevation so hold the clinometer and record the angle of elevation repeat the same procedure uh, up to 2 3 or you can see five uh, observations and uh, next one is like this you have to arrange your clinometer in front of the school building and measure the height of the center of the clinometer from the ground that is height of the center from the ground now measure the distance of the school from the clinometer that means the distance from the school to the clinometer is d or small d repeat the steps keeping the clinometer at different places and measure the values of theta l and d that is the angle of elevation l that is distance of the center of the clinometer from the ground and the distance of the clinometer from the school building now next one is observation so for observation we have taken three angles that is 45 degree 60 degree and 30 degree first measure the height of the protector from the ground that is 5 feet distance of the uh, building from the clinometer that is 40 feet and height of the building becomes 45 degree after calculation at angle of elevation 45 degree now at 60 degree the distance from the building to the clinometer is 23 meter feet and the height of the building becomes 5 plus 20 root 3 that is approximately 45 feet again and at angle 30 degree the height of the protector is 5 feet distance from the building to the clinometer is 69 feet and uh, the height of the building after calculation becomes 5 plus 69 upon root 3 so it will be again become nearby 45 feet so at an average the result is height of the building using clinometer is 45 feet that is your mathlab activity so we have to arrange the clinometer in such a way that we can see from the eye sight to the top of the building so that we can measure the angle of elevation through this so this is your activity